All right, guys, the highlights from Friday in the chat room at greatstoppings.com. Can't say enough about the teamwork in there. Um, somebody put Citigroup on my watch list because of uh, news. It's almost like the chat room is a, a market scanner because so many people are running scanners um, and news services and so on. Um, I personally use Benzinga Audio Pro. It's fantastic. Um, but the chat room itself is just a great scanner. And uh, Citigroup was brought to my attention. I went out on the chart and looked and liked it around uh, 47.20. And as soon as it started to bounce back up on this candle, called it long right there. Now, it wasn't huge, but it went to 47.60. Um, but an example of something I didn't even have on watch, we got a nice trade out of. Um, Cisco, the other Cisco, Cisco Foods or whatever, SYY, um, I called long right there at 36.60. Again, watching this thing down into support, called it long at 36.60. Went almost to 37.10, uh, but you can see where the buy call was. Um, EJ, don't know anything about this one, but I saw this volume spike. It met all of the parameters and called a buy right there. And we got a nice move out of that one almost immediately. Uh, GNC, this is uh, another moderator in our chat room, Stephen uh, B. He, he's actually uh, stationed in Belgium. And uh, he's uh, one of the chat room moderators. Uh, made a really good call here. GNC was getting shape, what we call shape down into pre-market support. So it had come a long way to just barely break pre-market lows. And he called it long over this little narrow candle here. Um, one of the best calls of the day, uh, just just right over 34.50, stop very tight right down below that candle, and you can see what it did. It went uh, up over a buck and a half um, from Stephen B's call. That was a fantastic call. Um, Monster Beverage, again, I called this one. I said I like the support at 68. Gave several people uh, the option to grab this at 68. Like the support a lot. Um, you can see what it did. I, I put out a, um, a picture, a snapshot of this on Stock Twits. This to me looks like an algorithm, just taking out everyone who went you know, long here, caught the bounce, lunchtime slow down, boom, they just rip through, take out all the stops below the low of the day, and then it goes back up. Um, but if you ever see that, and you see it hold just right below that last flush, um, it, that's a great signal to go long after it starts coming up or above this tight little base here, because you know what happened right there, they just flushed out all the stops. But anyway, that was uh, an entry call in MNST. UPL very strong on the daily. I called this long literally right there at the touch of that green line. Um, and that was literally the low of the day. You know, it, it gapped up, pulled back, started to run, takes out the low of the day. And that's where I called the long. And it, the rest of the day just grinding higher. Wasn't huge, but uh, a very steady, slow gain. Myriad Genetics, MYGN. I literally called it right there on that little green candle with a stop below that green candle. I, I don't even know what the numbers were, but the stop was about a dime. Um, the entry was like 33.55-ish, and you can see what it did from there. Um, went up really well from there. So uh, great teamwork, guys. Uh, the teamwork in the chat room is just getting better and better. So many people spotting uh, the setups that we teach and we look for, and um, it makes it really easy to make money even on a boring summer day. So uh, I'm going to quit babbling. Have a great Father's Day to all the dads out there, and we'll see everybody on Monday.